its last call for good at a legendary Denver jazz club. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. First, Summit County towns were forced to cut tens of millions from budgets this year, bracing for huge losses from shutdown. Laura Kennedy with Town of Silverthorne explains the worst, luckily, never came. We didn't know how long that shutdown was going to take place, right? So we just tried to plan for the worst. And as it turned out, the essential businesses that are located in Silverthorne were able to continue to operate. Despite a strong summer, Silverthorne is still playing it safe in 2021, cutting budgets by 10% townwide. While Brian Waldis in Breckenridge says they are going even further. We took a look at the last normal winter we had, which would have been 1819, because obviously, you know, 1920 ended up interrupted. So we're comparing back to that, and we are prepared to absorb a 40% loss. Towns and the county cut capital spending and event funding this year, giving more money to rent relief and public health. The county's public health budget grew by nearly a half million dollars, hiring COVID contact tracers and managing pandemic response. Tune in today at 4 and 5 for a breakdown of big projects delayed or canceled this year from Breckenridge to Silverthorne. El Chapultepec, the downtown Denver jazz bar where legends like Count Basie rubbed elbows with Jack Kerouac, is closing for good. On Facebook, longtime owners, the Krantz family, say the 87-year-old bar is closing in part because of COVID, but also due to many other factors. A recent GoFundMe campaign to support the bar raised less than $2,000. The Peck, as it was known, opened in 1933, 24 hours after Prohibition had ended, and remains one of the oldest buildings in Lodo, Caddy Corner to Coors Field. Today is Colorado Gives Day, when thousands of nonprofits statewide are asking for donations and sponsors are matching up to $1 million. Visit coloradogives.org to search for nonprofits by name, location, and cause, where you will find dozens based right here in Summit. That's coloradogives.org by midnight tonight. This week is the first ever Backcountry Safety Awareness Week in Colorado, and the Colorado Avalanche Information Center wants everyone in the backcountry to know their tools and how to use them. Director Ethan Green. All of that information, uh, although not perfect, is extremely helpful, and I think it's a good thing for people to use. Check the Avalanche forecast daily at avalanche.state.co.us and get trained up before heading out. Local Avalanche One courses are booked through March. You might have to travel for an open course. Governor Jared Polis signed a round of COVID relief bills yesterday, including $37 million for restaurants and rec centers, available by mid-January. We are so proud that our state legislature is doing what they can do within the realm of the possible, right? They say that politics is the art of the possible. Polis was joined by Summit County Commissioner Thomas Davidson via Zoom. This assistance is so very important for our restaurants and our gyms and the businesses that simply cannot safely be open right now. In Summit, the county and town of Breckenridge have pledged $750,000 to winter rent and business relief. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, high school winter sports like basketball and alpine skiing are pushed back another month. Chassa confirms the winter sports season will not begin until February 1st at the earliest. Practice can begin late January. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.